if you want to grow your brand and your business, you kind of need to have an email list. And growing that email list can seem like an impossible task. So are you trying to do it through social, through organic, through SEO? There are tons of ways that you could do it, but one huge one is building a lead magnet. How to's, guides, ebooks, there's tons of lead magnets that you can build out, but it all depends on what you're building for your audience. So in my case, I'm in email marketing. So building a lead magnet around top performing subject lines or even a free email template, that could be appealing to my ideal audience. So if you're just in the beginning stages, you're like, look, I need to build out a lead magnet. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to design. I don't know how to do anything follow along because today we're going to be using this amazing app called VisMe. Now VisMe is amazing because not only can you build your lead magnet in here and it's going to take like no time at all, you can also build your opt-in form. It's, it houses everything in it to make the process so easy. For example, I just created this amazing looking lead magnet right in VisMe and their forms are shown to convert up to two times better than regular forms. So I can't wait to show you how I made it. Also, spoiler alert, it took me like 30 minutes to build this from scratch with the help of their AI. So follow along with me. We're going to jump into VisMe. We're going to build our lead magnet and our opt-in form. Let's go. All right, now that we are in VisMe, you can see there's a lot of starting points that you can begin with in here. We have presentations, documents, whiteboards, charts and graphs, social media, lots of awesome things. But what we're going to focus in on is documents. So that's where we're going to start with building our lead magnet. So in here, you can see there's lots of different templates in here, a lot of starting points. Um, just to kind of show you through here, I mean, we have reports. Reports are great. Maybe if you're an app or even if you're like a service, and you just want to talk about like, hey, here's what we did this year. You can turn that into a lead magnet. Um, you have white papers, ebooks. This is huge. Ebooks are great lead magnets. Uh, but we are going to stick with the classic template here for just lead magnet. So we're going to click in here. And the great thing about Vinsby is that we're going to be creating this in like no time flat. So in here, you have a lot of starter templates that you can kind of get things building on, but we are going to head on over into our AI designer. So it starts here with what can I help you create today, Payton? So I think today what I'm going to go with is let's say we are a water sports company here in Florida where I'm based. And maybe we want to target something really specific like uh, paddle boarding or paddle boarding sports here in Florida. Okay, let's maybe kind of think about, hey, these are the top five places to paddle board in Florida or something like that. And then, you know, maybe we're selling a service like, hey, you can rent those paddle boards from us all throughout Florida. Maybe that's our brand, right? So here in the AI designer, we're going to say, uh, Hey, which I like to be friendly to my AI because they may be our overlords one day. So we'll just, we'll be nice. Hey, I have, or actually let's say I want to create a lead magnet for the top five places. to paddleboard in Florida. All right, so I'm just gonna go with that. Hey, I wanna create a lead magnet for the top five places to paddleboard in Florida. And we'll run with it. We'll see what it does, because it, it can do some amazing things here. Sounds fantastic. Can you provide more details for your lead magnet? For instance, do you want to include images, specific features of your location, or any other details? Okay, so we're gonna add in I want to include images of people paddleboarding. And let's say for features, maybe um, the size of the water, size of the water, the area they can paddleboard. Okay, our chatbot is typing. All right, so we now can choose a style on the right as what we can kind of, you know, have our AI build within. So there's a couple here that we can go with. We can click preview and maybe kind of see uh, maybe some more details here, which, ooh, I kind of really, I like that one a lot, actually. Um, a lot of these are gonna be really great for my marketers out there because they have like these cool little checklists and things. 
Okay, I'm really drawn to the best gifts for bookworms lead magnet here. I think that will fit in with what we're trying to do. Um, and we can kind of, we can zhuzh it afterwards too if we need to change anything. All right, use this style. And off we go. It is finding the information for me. It's plugging it into the design. And literally I'm just like, I can go have a cup of coffee if I want. Okay, my design is pre-made. It's loading in right now, which I'm already seeing it. And I'm like, heck yes. And that took literally, I think maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds. It was fast, okay. So let's go ahead and jump in and um, edit the design. But I just also want to point out, we could choose a different style here, which I love. Like if we populated it and we're just like, okay, this isn't really fitting in with what we wanted exactly. We could choose a different style, but I'm already liking what I'm seeing so far, okay. Let's go ahead and edit this design. And then we can tweak a few things. The big piece here is that it's done the heavy lifting for us. So I don't have to spend time pulling things together and trying to be creative. It already pulled it in nicely for me. Okay, so I now have it open here and we're gonna make a few different changes to it. I think one is going to be the color palette first. So we can tweak the color palette super easily here on the left. And I think we should go for a really kind of oceany vibes here. So we have this one here, or maybe we do it with like a, a splash of another color. Ooh, actually, I kind of like that one. Let's see, we could also customize it too, but I think honestly sticking with these blues is gonna be great. Okay, so I'm kind of just tweaking this. So I've been playing the top paddleboarding destinations in Florida. The great thing is that you can drag, drop, move things around, which I love. I think this is where I might kind of pop in a picture of me. Like maybe it's my company logo, but I'm thinking, hey, if this is me, maybe I'm an influencer or something like that. I could pop in my picture here, but I'm already really liking what I'm seeing. Uh, what's also super cool is let's say we're not crazy about this image here and we want to go to replace. Okay, I think this one really draws my eye because a big thing in Florida is, you know, like sunset paddle boarding. So we're popping that one in as our feature. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking where this is going. And then these images here, I think maybe to the the good eye, we can look and see, is this in Florida? And we can pull in our own images, but I think to get the ball rolling, these are really good. Um, so let's head over to our next page. So we have this cool kind of content piece here. It's up to you. I think they kind of stylized it into two sections here. So you could move it into one if you wanted to, but I actually really like that kind of really stylized. Um, we have a person here on the paddle board. I think we could find maybe a different image here. This actually looks all right, this one here looks pretty cool. Kind of actually very kind of clear water beach over here. And then we have our introduction, key paddleboarding essentials. Let me zoom in a bit here as well. Introduction, key paddleboarding essentials, top five paddleboarding spots in Florida. So it even added in some extra content for us to use. It didn't even say like, hey, let's talk about paddleboarding essentials, which is great because duh, if it's a leaf magnet, we want to kind of say here are the essentials that you need and we're soft selling the essentials that we offer, right? So uh, love that. Okay, our next page, let's see, let's zoom out a bit. So it's great, a bit of an introduction. Hey, if you're the type who loves the thrill of gliding over crystal clear waters, exploring pristine coastlines and interacting with sea life, then Florida is your ideal paddleboarding destination. Warm weather, variety of waterways and abundance of marine life. Guys, this is awesome. I didn't have to write a single line of this and I'm loving it. The only thing is maybe the contrast on this page I'm gonna tweak this one just a little bit. Sweet, and it has our pieces in there. Okay, I love this. So the introduction's great. Join us as we explore the top five paddleboarding spots in the beautiful in this beautiful state. And discover the unique features of each location along with some essential insights. Love it, this is great. Okay, on our next page, we have our first two locations here that we're featuring. I love it. Okay, so we have a manatee paddle in Crystal River or Wakula River in Tallahassee. So this one's interesting. So these, just because I know kind of some paddle boarding stuff, these are both very kind of manatee specific ones. Um, I think maybe calling this the manatee paddle could be, I mean, it's, it's kind of called that and it's on Crystal River, but we could change this and say, hey, Crystal River located in, I think it's in technically, Oh God, where is it? North, North, North Tampa. I just know it's North, North of here. <laughs> but this is great. It's saying the best season to visit, spring, winter. So I'm thinking that's very specific with best manatee viewing seasons. Uh, it has a bit of a description here. So this is great. So this already has a few destinations here. 
we could clone this and change it. I think what's really awesome is that if we wanted to maybe change a few things, like I think with these being um, how, or about manatees, we could maybe find a manatee photo to pop into here and that would be great too. Really having uh, that feature to it, if I could spell manatee correctly. There we go. So maybe popping that in, replace. We could change that, that's great. So this is a great, great start. We're already, I mean, the, the layout's already in place. So if we wanna just duplicate this and add in some more locations, we totally could, um, which I think is just fantastic. Let's check out our next page and see. Um, okay, so we have Embracing the Adventure, Paddleboarding with Manatees. Okay, again, moving on the manatee thing, which I don't mind, I don't mind at all. Pull that down a bit. Paddling with Manatees in Florida, Magical Encounter. So this is kind of interesting. So this is now talking about two different types of services that you can do. Oh, interesting. So depending on what type of lead magnet we wanted to do, we could change up this page. We could literally say, um, what's great about this is that you can actually come over to the AI writer and then tell it like, hey, actually give me a location of a great place to paddleboard in Florida. We could list it, but this is great. This is actually listing out different tour companies. So we have the Manatee Paddle Adventures, 55. It has their website. It has some of their introduction here. So this is really cool. Um, you know, I think if we're more specific with our AI generator, we can really kind of hone in what we wanted but I love that it went out and actually got quite a um, like wide selection of different things to feature here. I literally just said, hey, what's the you know, top destinations, top things to do paddle boarding in Florida. And this is what it populated without me having to really do much of anything, which is fantastic. Um, so love that. So this is great. So we already have our main template here. I think what I was saying is that we could come in, we could come over here, we can duplicate, and then we could pop in another location here. So if we really wanted to hone this in on just locations, we could, um, or if we wanted to at the bottom page, we could just talk about resources, which is great if maybe you're an affiliate of these resources. So maybe you're an influencer and you wanna highlight these different places that you're an affiliate with, this lead magnet, they click it, it has your referral link, beautiful. So now that we have our lead magnet here, I'm just gonna come over to download and download this first page because I then want to make my opt-in form, which you can do all of that within Visme. Okay, with that downloaded, I'm gonna head back over into our main dashboard and then head on over into making our opt-in form. So one really cool thing about Visme that I'm actually obsessed with is these character opt-in forms. So if you are the face of your brand, honestly, even if you aren't, you need to use these because they are super interactive, eye-catching, and so much fun to build as well. Visme forms are super effective. They actually even boast that you get 2x the conversions on the traffic that visits and opts into your form and up to a 40% increase in the opt-ins to your form. So. I don't know, I wanna hype it up, but their forms really do get people to take action. So let's jump in and build it. So the purpose of our form here is we're our lead magnet. We wanna get our lead magnet opted into. So here's where we can kind of come in and you already see some of these characters here, which is really fun. I'm gonna make my characters, so you guys are gonna see that. Um, but we're gonna start with something super simple. This really kind of depends on your website, how you want it to blend in, but we have almost like a guide. So let's see if we have a guide that we can follow here. Um, but we'll come in here to file download, that'll work. So we'll go ahead and edit this one. Okay, so we're in our editor here and I'm gonna go ahead and upload our image. So it's super easy, easy to edit. We're gonna click this, upload our cover, which is gonna be the one that I had just created. So we're adding that in. Perfect, so it blends in perfectly. We created in Visme, just export it, plop it back in. I love it. So I actually don't have a logo to really upload here right now. So we're just gonna kind of pop that off, download our data sheet. So we're going to put in download our Florida Paddleboard Guide. Okay, and then we can edit this section, complete the form below to gain instant access to our guide. Woohoo, your email, so this looks good here. We have some form icons that we can edit and change, our submit button as well. Love it, so our character. So I'm gonna edit my character because I am so excited about this part. 
All right, I sped this part up because I was having probably way too much fun <laughs> in trying to make my character look like me. So I decided to go with kind of like, hey, we're paddleboarding in Florida. So ended up putting her in kind of like this like swimsuit look. So much fun, y'all. The customization here is actually insane. The different types of outfits, the different customization that you can do on skin tone, hair, hairstyle, shoes. Even the pose that the person does when it swings in is awesome. I love it. So again, I'm gonna remove my logo on this one. Thank you. And then here we're gonna say, hey, you can download your guide here. And then that is where we can come over and hyperlink it. So when it comes to hosting your lead magnet, you can upload it into like, let's say if you're using WooCommerce for your website, you can upload it in there and then you'll get a downloadable link that you can link out, or you could put it into a Google Drive and then you have a shared link that you can put in here as well. So when it comes to actually collecting these leads, there are a couple things that you can do in here. So if you have an email program, you can come over to connect connect it to Klaviyo, um, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, HubSpot, kind of the big boys. But if you don't have that yet, you're just getting started, you can do a Google Sheet, which is great. You can just host people in that Google Sheet. You can come back later once you actually have a big enough list to start regularly emailing. You can do that there. But I would highly recommend you sign up for an email program now because these people are most likely to open your email. So if you're emailing now to those people, you're building your domain, your deliverability, your reputation. So highly recommend send it for an email program, connect it here, and then everything can flow super smoothly. Then let's say you're ready to go ahead and publish it. You can come over here, ready to publish. And then once published, you can come over and embed it, which is what I would typically recommend. You can either do it as a pop-up over a page here. You can do it in between content. So this is great if you have a popular blog post and people are coming to it, you can fit this right in into your content or even on the sidebar, which I love. So, you know, if you want that kind of living off to the side, people can opt in, they'll see it. It is great. And the other piece that I really love is that VisMe just doesn't stop there. You're actually able to see the data. So here you can see how many times people viewed it, how many started it, submitted it, completed it, how long it take them to complete it. So you can see all that here. So that way you're actually understanding like, what are my stats? Like, is this actually working for me? And you can clearly see it in here. And I do wanna show you how quick it is to install this as well. So I'm gonna put it on my own website. I have a blog in progress right now just to show you how everything looks so cool once you put it on your page. So I'm gonna do the between content cause mine's kind of a blog post and it'll sit in between content. I'm gonna copy the code here. I'm gonna head into my website. For me, I use show it. So depending on what you use, you should have a embed code option. So I have mine here. I'm just gonna drag this down a bit so I can have it right in the section I want. And I'm gonna pull it in like so. And then here in our embed info, I'm gonna paste in that code that I had. Then once pasted in, I'm gonna come over here and preview. So I have my whole blog post here, but when I scroll down to my in-between content, we have my section that I built in VisMe. Now in this case, you know, I could put a white background or even make my entire background this purple color so it blends in really well, but I just wanna show you how cool it looks inside of your website. So you can imagine if you really brand it for your website, it can fit in seamlessly. Like you're scrolling through the blog and then you see this piece here, you opt in, submit, and you are off to the races on collecting those leads. And you have this awesome cool character like the one I created that really draws people's attention in. So just wanna show it off what it looks like on the website as well, but super excited with how this turned out. I just absolutely love how it turned out. I mean, my biggest, compliment to VisMe is that if you are stuck and you're like, I need to build a lead magnet, somebody help me, let me get this done like today, use VisMe because you're able to use that AI generator. It pulls everything together, builds the template, and then you can build the form within it. It just one-stop shop literally for all of like the branding, the reports, everything that you need to build for your brand. I feel like you can build that in VisMe. If you wanna give Vizme a try, I have a link below in the description. You can give it a try, build your own opt-in form, just experiment and have fun with it. I can't wait to see what you guys create with your lead magnets. Until the next video, I will see y'all later. Bye.